Hey man, I'm sure thankful for emergency brakes. <clears throat> it's the Mississippi River today. It's really low. It's getting lower. Still a good bit of tumult out there. I'm about to run out of gas here on this incline. It would be not good about that. I better ski down. Hey man, I just had a, like a life parable happen to me. Anyway, I've been kind of depressed as hell lately. Just, you know, I hate saying that. I know you ain't supposed to put that shit out there, but hey man, there it is. So uh, anyway, that's where I've been. Somebody said, well man, what do you have to be impressed about? You should be thankful. I know that. That means makes me more depressed. So there you have it. So anyway, I've been a little depressed. I do some strange things sometimes, don't try to yank myself with God's help out of the out of the metaphoric stumbling reverie known as depression but um, anyway so I went down to the I didn't have a tour this afternoon I had one this morning so I went in uh, to the river myself and the Mississippi River by Friars Point is really low now so I went all the way down the incline tried to get my wheels as close as I could to the water and thankfully I didn't go any farther but anyway so uh, I didn't have a lot of gas in the tank when I got there, and that didn't trouble me because I didn't even think about it going down the hill. And I did think about putting that emergency brake on and making sure I didn't have a brain fade and take my foot off the brake because it's pretty steep, and that's the Mississippi River, and I was two feet away, literally, on an incline with a little gas. Well, then all of a sudden I was filming a little bit, just saying something, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, man, I probably ought to get out of here because I thought, you know, I don't have much gas. and I didn't want it running out. Well, because it was an on an incline and the pump's in the tank and the pump was higher in the air than the engine, then it wouldn't go. It just kind of sputtered. So anyway, I had to call my friend, little John, who sent um, his farm manager, Brian, thankfully, Davis, to come save me and give me some gas so I could get back up the hill. But it did make me think, you know, on good days, I barely got enough gas in the tank, even on level ground. But on the days when the incline's a little steeper and the water's a little faster and the consequences are a little more significant, I definitely don't have enough gas in the tank. So there's a metaphor in there somewhere. And then somehow it all gets back to somebody as messed up as I am got to get hold of God because that's about the only thing that gets me through most days anyway. Anyway, I don't know why I'm rambling and why y'all even listen to this and probably wouldn't blame me for cutting it off early, but anyway, Mississippi Delta, it's just one big old allegory, metaphor, simile, but it's emblematic of a lot of stuff and it's a cool place. And if you come here, you're going to make some comparisons and some narrative's going to get hold of you. So come on to the Mississippi Delta. Even those of us here that deal with depression, there's always felicity at the end of a row crop or even at the end of a ramp that leads into the Mississippi River because usually redemption is nigh. Y'all have a good day.